Magic mirror full of wisdom. Who's the fairest in the kingdom? The woman who wears the red shoes. From Locus Pictures comes a new twist on a beloved story about a wicked witch searching for beauty and the princess who discovers what real beauty is. The twist of it is, is that Snow White is not your regular princess. She's also under a guise and a magic spell that when she puts on these red shoes, she turns into the fairy tale princess look. Wow, I look so different. She is a very strong young woman and she finds these pair of shoes through her evil stepmother and she puts them on and it transforms her into your quintessential princess beauty. A small waist and very dainty. That transition physically, like getting slimmer and becoming the typical princess look is what she thinks people want. It's a way that she's never um, seen herself or had people treat her before. That kind of highlights the imperfections in society and the way that you can get catered to if you are quintessentially beautiful and how messed up that is. Snow White transforms to a glamorous version of herself while wearing the red shoes. The seven dwarfs are actually seven typically handsome heroes who have been cursed and turned into stumpy green versions of themselves. That's proof looks can be deceiving you guys are caring and sweet and and not completely hideous to look at no you guys are totally adorable i think i hit her too hard yeah you might be short and green and stumpy but you are special and it doesn't matter what you look like when you're a great person merlin and red shoes form a friendship that turns to love a love that reveals what true beauty really is. The journey that Merlin goes on with, with uh, Snow White is that he discovers what's on the inside is what matters. And that's ultimately what he falls in love with, is not this ideal of what he thinks a princess should look like or be, but what Snow White truly is. Ah, uh, yes, this is me. He actually can't believe that she is as kind of perfect as she is because no, living creature on this earth is, is seemingly that sweet and kind and generous and beautiful um, in so many ways. She's incredibly valiant. She's a heroine. He really appreciates the inner beauty within her. And this is why this film is so sort of relevant to today's society. You actually just need to learn to love yourself for who you are. Who do you like more, Snow White or Red Shoes? Easy, it's Red Shoes. Now, which of us do you think Red Shoes likes more? <laughs> Easy, it's me! Wait... No. It's... You. It's a very important movie for young women. You know, I think it, it really uh, speaks volumes about self-confidence and body confidence and being happy with the skin that you're born in. Merlin, I used to be strong. Really strong. And I was always proud of that. The shoes made me lose a little bit of weight. Could be worse. Okay. <laughs> a lot of weight. Ah. Well, I know what it's like to look different on the outside from what you feel on the inside. The best thing you can learn is to just kind of wake up every day and go, I don't know what's going to be handed to me, but I'm going to try to be the best person that I can be. At a certain point, you know, the, the inner self starts showing on your outer self. Yes. What makes people unique is in within here, you know, and here. <laughs> it's all a collective wonderful package. The message of this film is to find the beauty within yourself. That's the soul of the picture. I kind of like the short and green Merlin. <laughs> but I'm still that Merlin inside. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. That's what makes it so timely and so relevant for today. It's about understanding that beauty is inside. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge the movie by what you might expect it to be. It will exceed your expectations, no matter what. Bravo, mon ami! Yeah! 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 Yeah!